What's going on guys? Who's up? Having a Modelo beer. It's late night. About to crash. Thought I'd uh, keep a <clears throat> low profile. Thought I'd keep a low profile for a while. Um, anyways, I'll just put the thing here. It's the lights. Anyways, having a Modelo beer. How's everybody doing? Stayed off of social media for a little bit. <clears throat> hey, Carla, Rebecca. Just wanted to pop in here and let everybody know I'm doing all right. <clears throat> I've been busy with a couple of important things that I've been focusing on in the past couple of days. Just staying productive and doing some things that I need to get done. Um, so anyways, um, I hope everybody's doing okay. Just wanted to pop in and see how everybody's doing. I'm having a nice cold beer now. And, um, just chilling out, man. Um, <clears throat> just chilling out. Enjoying the weather here in the desert southwest. Thanking God that I'm not freezing in Chicago. The weather's going to be really pretty nice here for the month of February. And uh, this winter is passing by pretty fast. We're already in mid-February, so it's going to be nice to spend another month here in the desert southwest. And um, <clears throat> March is another nice month to spend in the desert southwest because as you guys know things don't start really warming up in Chicago until about mid-April but um, <clears throat> that is what it is but I hope everybody's doing okay just wanted to pop in and see how everybody's doing let everybody know I'm doing alright um, yeah, so I'm enjoying the weather here in the desert southwest. It gets a little bit chilly in the nighttime, but in the daytime it's nice and sunny and uh, pretty warm most days. Um, I've been kind of busy uh, running some important errands for the past couple of days. I don't want to really talk about what I've been doing. Hey, Jay, how you doing? I can tell you that van life is not for me. Well, don't ever knock something unless you try it. I think the van life has a lot more positives than negatives. Um, uh, this August will be seven years that I'm full time. And um, it's been quite an experience for me. Um, but anyways, guys... Um, I don't want to stay on there too long. I just want to let you guys know I'm doing all right. I hope you guys are doing all right. I've been staying pretty productive and positive uh, the past couple days, just getting some important things done, errands done. And uh, this month of February, uh, um, I'm just uh, hunkering down, keeping a low profile. I haven't been over the border in a while, just uh, kind of in stealth mode right now. Um... And um, just keep, just just laying low. Um, so I'm probably going to go back over the border again a few more times. But uh, right now I'm just keeping a low profile and, and, and laying low. And um, just relaxing. You know, taking a little break from the border and from all that kind of stuff. Just laying low. Just keeping a low profile. Getting rest. And uh, getting things done in the daytime and being productive. So that's what I've been doing here. And for the next couple of weeks, uh, pretty much this whole month of February, I'm going to be keeping a low profile. Just laying low, you know. Might go over the border uh, maybe once a week, mm -hmm. but uh, that's about it. I'm keeping a pretty low profile. 
So, uh, <clears throat> January was more of an exploratory month for me. And uh, February is more of a month where I'm still going to explore, but not as much, I guess, in a, in a more mild way. And I'll be keeping a low profile pretty much for the whole month of February. And March is going to be a transitional month for me because it's going to be the month where I'm, I'm probably going to relocate back to Chicago. So I'm hoping probably um, late March I'll be probably going back to Chicago maybe even mid-March. We'll see how the weather pans out. Um, we'll see how the weather pans out. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing more exploring, but, uh, just keeping it on a mild basis, just trying to be productive and get things done. So, uh, February is a month for me where I just need to kind of keep a low profile, take it easy. And in March, I'll probably amp up my exploring a little bit more of Mexico and, um, I might go to San Diego, but I'm not sure if I will. I think, uh, you know, um, I'm just happy where I'm at for now. We'll see what happens. But um, I'm keeping a low profile for February. And um, I'll amp things a little bit up in March. We'll see. But anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm doing okay, like I said. Uh, just trying to get things done and be productive in the daytime. You know, and I've noticed with with life uh, and with a lot of things, um, uh, you have to get things done in the daytime. I'm not really a daytime person, but I've been getting up early and acclimating my schedule more for the daytime. Um, I'm more of a night owl, but it just happens to be that so many things that I've got to get done have to be done in the daytime. And unfortunately, the way the world works is everything is open in the daytime. Organizations and companies and stuff like that. So I like the nighttime. I've always been a night owl, but at the same time, I realize that I can only get so much done in the nighttime. So... I've kind of changed my schedule for the time being. I've been sleeping early and getting up very early, probably getting up around 7, 8, 9 in the morning, which usually I don't do, but that's what's been going on with my schedule. And uh, the more early I get up, the more that I can get uh, those important errands done. And every day is dedicated to something different. I'm not going to talk about exactly what. I'm not working, I don't have a job now, but I'm doing other things to be productive and running important errands. With that being said, I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you guys know that I'm doing okay. I hope you guys are doing okay, like I said. And um, we all know that I haven't been keeping up with the headlines, but I know there's inflation going on and the COVID war and the vaccine war and the truckers and now... They're talking a lot about what's going on with Ukraine and Russia. So, um, yeah. Um, things are happening. Gas prices are going up and down. Um, the barrel of oil is up to, I think, almost $95, $96 a barrel right now. It's in the $90, $90 range, and it was just $78 just uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, these... Um, the world is a very unstable world right now. Uh, that's why I'm hunkering down and keeping a low profile because we're in some up for some pretty volatile times. With the inflation and the change supply shortage um, and um, with the um, with what's going on with uh, the chain supply shortage and the COVID war and the vaccine war and uh, the oil wars and uh, what's going on with 
the wars of the people amongst all nations, whether it be the Middle East or Russia or Ukraine, were just in some very perilous, unstable times. And that's why things are just going up and down as far as uh, oil barrel prices and what's going on as far as that. We're just in some very volatile unpredictable times right now and um, uh, the bottom line is ladies and gentlemen uh, that we all need to just um, keep a low profile because things are shaking and moving I hope that things turn out better for everybody and this inflation can go down and uh, these wars and rumors of wars can go away. Let's all think positive. Let's pray. And um, hopefully this whole situation with, um, you know, the, the virus and the vaccine war and the police state can all calm down. And I hope we can all just pray that things be can get better. You know, we all know things are going to get worse before they get better, you know. And I think little by little things are getting a little bit better. But at the same time, there's a lot of uh, rocky paths down the road and a lot of obstacles that we all need to overcome to get better in our lives. So guys, just please pray. Just please be positive. Be kind to each other. Treat other people well. And you'll get a positive reciprocation back. How you doing, Tim? I'm about to wrap it up. I just... It's just you know, which on the phone, but I just want to say, I'm not sure if I'm still on the air, but I just want to say in a nutshell uh, that uh, please, guys, be kind to each other, be positive, be respectful of your fellow man, and just be a good person and put out positive karma, and you'll get positive reciprocation back as far as positive karma. That's about it. Um, there's a lot of trolls on YouTube and on, sometimes on Facebook and a lot of negativity. But uh, I'm, I feel good. Um, I've been on uh, Mark Terry's Hangout and there's so much hate and negativity on there. And I can't believe people dwell on hate and negativity so much. And to be honest with you, staying off of social media and YouTube has been a great thing for me. It's uh, I kind of popped in on Mark Terry's a couple times, and there's just been so much hate and negativity on there. It's unbelievable the amount of negativity on YouTube. And separating myself from that has been the healing process for me. Uh, separating from the negativity and the hate and the evil and the harsh words. Uh, but I kind of got a little preview of it on Mark Terry's Hangout. And uh, it was really, really bad. It's war worse than ever and um <clears throat> i don't think i'm going to be going back to that uh i don't think i will it's just been really really bad on on youtube as far as the trolls are concerned so to me um uh, changing my life around and staying away from a lot of the social media has been a good thing for me has been a positive thing for me um and has been a good uh, healing thing for me. How you doing uh, Janice and Aaron and everybody else? So if I have a handful of people that come in here and watch and say hello, that's fine. There's still a handful of trolls that follow me here on Facebook. But um, overall, like I said, uh, the negativity on YouTube is, is uh, really, really, really high. And uh, I'm not saying all people are bad on YouTube, but there's a, there are some bad apples on YouTube and Facebook, and um, I just think that um, separating myself from social media and reducing my exposure has been a good thing for me. I'm calm, I'm happy, it's been a healing process, I do miss all the people that love me and miss me and watch me, but at the same time I don't miss all the nasty people. And um, I'm going to have to go through another cleansing, detoxifying process. I'm going to be unsubbing from a lot of channels and uh, just clearing my mind of all that garbage. And just concentrating on positivity, concentrating 
on being positive, on being kind to others, on treating myself well, treating others well, getting right with God, and just being productive and getting things done in life and focusing on a different task every day and just going through another cleansing, detoxifying process of of separating myself and distancing myself from negative people, whether they be on Facebook, YouTube, in my real life, in my surroundings, it's always good. We always, always need to detoxify from negativity, whether it be people, whether it be an environment. If something is bothering you folks, make a change, and believe me, it'll, you'll feel better about yourselves. Um, uh, I haven't talked to my mom in a while. I need to give her a call think she's doing okay. Thank you for asking, Tim. Um, I'm going to call her tomorrow, get her early start. Um, it is what it is, folks. I'm going to go ahead and pop on out of here. Thank you guys for coming in. Uh, I don't want to make this long, drawn-out hangout. I'm going to chug this beer here. I had a can of uh, Modelo here. That I had sitting in the fridge for a while. And I just kind of had a heavy meal here that I shouldn't have had. But I was kind of hungry. But anyways. Folks. Um, I just want to tell everybody. Please pray guys. Um, I feel that we are in some perilous unpredictable times. But we need to pray. We need to be positive, And we need to be kind to each other. Because we're living in some perilous unpredictable times. And we need to pray for world peace. We need to pray for healing from this COVID disease and all other diseases and stuff going on in the world. Humanity needs a break. We've had a rough couple of years and we need a break. And so I just want to say to everybody, please pray, guys. Please pray for me. Please pray for my mom. Please pray for the world. Please just pray and be kind to each other. That's all I got to say. I'm going to go through a detoxifying cleansing process by unsubbing a lot of troll channels on my YouTube list. And uh, one of those being Mark Terry and a lot of other people who talk about me. Unsubbing those people, not uh, watching them and not listening to them and not joining their panels and not uh, engaging. And just completely uh, ignoring all those people that hate. And... <clears throat> Whenever I come on here, I'll be monitoring my Facebook. There are still a handful of trolls that follow me on Facebook that I'll be deleting and blocking and cleaning up my Facebook. So, um, I'm probably going to shut down the comments section on my Facebook fan page because these trolls always want to take a jab at me on Facebook. So, I'm going to be cleaning up my Facebook and uh, it is what it is that's about it folks I'm going to go ahead and get off of here I think thank you guys for popping in um, and that's all I pretty much had to say I have nothing else to say just wanted to pop in let you guys know I'm doing all right and I'm being positive and productive every day I'm just keeping a little bit of a low profile from going into the border and that's what I'll be doing I think for the whole month of February and uh, March is going to be a transitional month for me because it might be the month that I start heading back up towards Chicago. Um, I hope to be in probably in Chicago by uh, late March and getting back to work probably around April, early April, sometime early April or right around April. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for popping in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be kind to each other. Be good to each other. And uh, just do the right thing, folks. Get out there and just be positive and be productive and be happy. And follow your bliss and happiness. And uh, just do what you got to do in life to make yourselves happy. But remember, one of the most important things to do is to be kind to other people. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to the world. 
Treat the world with respect. Treat your body with respect. Treat other people with respect. And believe me, you'll have good karma and blessings coming your way. And like I said, please do what I do. Distance yourself and ignore negative people. Don't have them in your lives. Life is too short to hate. And life is too short to be around hateful, negative people. And when you have those kind of people in your life, make sure that you separate yourselves from them as soon as possible. Um, because there's a lot of psychic vampires in this world. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of hate. And we all need to really thrive. We all really need to um, um, embolden ourselves. We need to really um, have the power and thoughts of discernment. Um, oh, the Super Bowl was was today. I don't know. I didn't watch it. I guess I got to watch it. I don't even watch it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pop on out of here. But I just want to say in closing, folks, please be kind to each other. Pray. And pray for those people that are negative and hateful. But at the same time, keep your distance from them. Um, that's the best thing that you can do. The best thing that you can do is avoid negativity. Don't uh, dwell in it. Don't surround yourself in it. Don't expose yourself to it. And try to... Um, there's always people in this world that try to plug into your aura and be in your aura and space. And just remember, folks, there's a lot of people that are like that. And whenever you pick up on something like that, they're just trying to suck off your energy. So always try to keep your distance from people who want to tap into your energy. And uh, just keep your distance. And... Um, and you'll be fine. And that's what you got to do. All right, folks. Have a good night. I'm going to get some rest. Thank you guys for coming in. Good night.